Hey Scorpio, welcome back to the channel, Fiery Falcon Tarot. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome. Please be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe, Scorpios. As y'all come on in the room, hope everyone is well. Gonna get this uh, Palacento going here, and uh, we'll get on into it, Scorpios. This is going to be the next 48 for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Hope you guys had a wonderful holiday, Scorpio. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> Get y'all some Palo Santo. All right. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, be sure to hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any uploads. Um, so I start out with the Oracle cards and then we dive into Tarot. This is again going to be the next 48 for Scorpio. Some moon rising in Venus. Hope you guys are getting ready. I mean, I hope you guys are excited for the new year. New endeavors, new goals, new plans. Uh, let's see here. Oh, um, if you guys would like to get a personal reading. Uh, you could do so by contacting me at fieryfalcontarot at gmail.com or you may DM me on Instagram, which is fieryfalcontarot on Instagram. If you did inquire about a personal reading and you're just now hearing back from me, um, check your emails because I did notice that I had quite a few emails and I was not aware because they were not linked to my um, phone. So I just physically logged in over the holiday. And again, I apologize for the delay, but I did reply back to you if you are a Scorpio. Thank you for your patience. And uh, yeah, check for that response. If you would like to donate to the channel, you can do so by simply cash app in Fiery Falcon Tarot. Uh, if you have donated and you are a Scorpio, I would like to truly thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate your support and your love. If you would like to leave a comment on the video, you could do that as do that. You could do so as well. Just make sure it's a high vibrational comment. Alright, let's see. What do we have for Scorpios? Someone rising in Venus. Next 48. Oh shoot. Uh, oh, darn it. Let's see, if you guys go out this weekend to celebrate the New Year's, please be safe and responsible. Not sure where you guys live out of the area, but where I live, they definitely do checkpoints. So, you know, if you're going to be drinking, just make sure you're Ubering or you have a designated driver. Okay, I don't know why I just... Cut the deck and then shuffle the Okay, whatever. What do we have for Scorpios? What's up, Scorps? So we're working with the Moonology Oracle deck, the Angel, Romance Angel Oracle, Abundance Oracle, and the uh, Shaman's Oracle. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. I like to 
same. I'll turn down a little bit just in case. Hopefully it's not too loud. Because I don't got time for the shit. All right, let's do this, Scorch. So first card out is a Fiery Climax Approaches, Full Moon and Aries. You could actually be dealing with the Aries. You could have Aries in your chart. Um, could be related to um, a boss or, you know, baby mom or baby dad or something like that. I'm definitely feeling like Emperor vibes there for that card for sure. Uh, ask for help from others. Okay. Excuse the glare. We have gathering around a power, I'm sorry, the power of community. 26 reduces to eight, which is a number of abundance. Um, I'm also getting like the strength card as well. I'm just seeing like that infinity eight. Um, so definitely, um, you know, with any kind of, with any situation you guys may or may not have going on, Scorpios, it's okay to, I feel like, you know, communicate with others, you know, if you need assistance or you're trying to, you know, get something accomplished, you know, you, it's a team, right? It could be a team effort. You, you can't always do everything on your own and get things done on your own. Sometimes it does require a team effort. Um, it may require someone that has expertise in the area that you may not specifically be an expert expertise in that area Scorpio so I feel like it's definitely okay to research and you know reach out and ask for help or ask for um someone that can direct you or guide you with whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish here within a community setting here now this could be work business uh you know personal circumstances um it could be anything right only you guys know your circumstances but that's what I'm feeling like there all right, we have Honored Cactus Resourcefulness, see? And 29 is 11, which is basically like, um, I'm getting like 11, 11, um, you know, which is basically like one in the tarot. So I'm just getting a sense of like a new beginning here. Um, I just feel like some of you guys might be A little, I, I feel like I want to say like, I feel like some of you guys might be skeptical about maybe a certain uh, change or aspect that might be coming up into your lives um, that could alter things in your life. But I feel like, you know, you guys could be stressing out about this, this change um, or new beginning or something like that that I'm feeling here. Um, I feel like you guys have the resources within you or the knowledge to be able to overcome whatever this new challenge or change is. Um, I feel like you guys are kind of stressing out, not for like for nothing a little bit, I want to say. I just feel like things are definitely going to work out and, and, you know, go well. I feel like you guys just need to take a deep breath um, and stop, I feel like, overanalyzing um, the situation and just, you know, just breathe and just go, go in full throttle is what I want to say. I hope that makes sense for somebody. <laughs> I just felt like I was all over the place there. Um, and lastly, we have clearing Scorpio. A true offering arises. It becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mine, mine, mine to God's, God's, God's such freedom. Okay. So this is pretty much summing up what I was just saying here about honor cactus here. Um, I felt that's that type of energy here before I even looked at gather or clearing and, and read it. Um, but that pretty much just described this. I just feel like you guys just need to stand out, um, you know, have a little bit more faith, maybe do some meditating here. Um, and, and definitely watch those things because I'm also now being drawn to like the, the pricklies on the cactus. So we know how, you know, deceiving that could be because the little pricklies are like what? not even a quarter inch long sometimes on cactuses, depending on the size of the cactus, right? And when you go to touch it or whatever like that, they look like they could be soft and, you know, welcoming and fuzzy, but they can actually, you know, alter your feeling here because if you touch it, it's, you know, it's not to the point where it's like, 
it's super painful, but it's like enough to make you, you know, reconsider. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's just what I'm getting here. I'm just feeling like that type of uh, energy there, but this is more so what I'm feeling like is more so related to like your thoughts. So I would just definitely make sure I watch your thoughts here and what your what what type of um energy you're projecting out here because the smallest thought I feel like of negativity could actually uh, you know hurt you in a sense whether that's just altering your your energy or you know how you interact with other people it's that's just what I'm feeling here like just be careful of that watch your thoughts for sure So I'm just trying to Alright. Alright, I had to get the phone out the way. I was changing the song. I wasn't really feeling that. But I don't know, Scorpios. This energy feels it feels good. Like I just feel like if you guys um, I think it's just, I feel like a, a lot of you guys are having a hard time transcending positive thoughts. Is is what I'm feeling here. I mean, which I definitely get it. I definitely understand. It definitely can be challenging at times, especially when, you know, you see things that you may not necessarily agree with or things of that nature. So it could be a little challenging there with the thoughts, but, you know, just um you know just the more you do it the better you become at it because i know that's what um, gen generally worked for me um and you know i'm not gonna lie i still have some challenging times from time to time of course you know i feel myself wanting to you know flip people off or you know things of that sort and i have to you know sometimes i don't sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes I, they actually do get the middle finger um and they might get a couple words too um uh, but and then I quickly realized, like, oh, shit. Like, god damn it. Like, well, well, he, they deserved it. They deserved it, right? That type of energy. Um, but, I don't know, Scorps. Just be careful with your thoughts. <laughs> Alright, so, we have the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles here. So, this definitely could be a, a contract coming up for you guys here, for sure. That's going to put you in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, working on increasing and building your finances. Yeah, possibly so. Uh, Queen of Pentacles just fell right on out my hand here. And then the Hierophant represents, um, you know, like, like contractual work, um, some type of a, an agreement here. Now, this could be related to anything. It's a noun, right? Person, place, or thing. Take it how it resonates. And we have the Queen of Pentacles again, and now the Six of Pentacles here. Um, so if it's a job, I feel like it's going to be a much higher paying job than what you uh, presently are at or was at. Um, and it's going to be balanced here or in, in, you know, it's going to be a balanced work setting here if it's related to work. Now, if it's related to love, then this is simply saying that, you know, you could have been dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn and, you know, I'm going to say past energy here because before when the Queen of Pentacles fell out a moment moment ago, I did see the Six of Cups behind that. So that would represent like, um, you know, something like somebody that you were attached to for, you know, uh, an extensive period of time. Um, so that could have been, you know, a non-balanced a non relationship. It could have been non-harmonious, uh, things of that sort. It could have been, you know, being breadcrumb type of energy taking place here given to multiple energies here, things of that sort. On the last split, we have, yep, the Queen of Pentacles and the Justice coming out here. So we have, again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and now we have Libra energy there with the Justice card coming out. So if there was any sense of wrongful doing here, I feel like the universe or the divine is definitely going to uh, grant you justice here, Scorpios, or uh, vice versa. You guys know what side of the scale you're on, so... Let's go ahead and cut the deck and see what the overall energy is going to be for the next 48 for you. Oh, Queen of Wands. 
Um, so this could definitely be you guys uh, definitely feeling fired up here with this fiery climax approaches with the full moon in Aries. Um, we do have Aries season coming up here um, in, a, in, a little, in a little bit here, a few months here. So, you know, you could have something huge, just opportunity is going to come towards you guys that again, is going to put you in that queen of pentacle energy. Um, that's going to make you feel dominating. That's going to make you feel alive, fiery, on fire, just unstoppable, beautiful, in charge, um, just in the sense of in control of everything. Um, and if it's not work, then again, you know, you just simply could, you know, it could be embodying the queen of pentacle and the queen of wand energy, or you just simply could have this coming into you. Either way is great energy here. So that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there for you, Scorps. So let's see, what is this fiery climax spirit for Scorpio? What is approaching for them? Ooh, the world. Ooh, beautiful. That is nice here. World card coming out the gate here. Yeah, you guys are moving in a new direction here. The six of swords at the bottom of the deck here. Cycles closing out here with the Capricorn. Cycle closing out with toxic energy here or feeling possessive, feeling a sense of being controlled. Or if it's not from someone else, then this is just you, Scorpio, just releasing yourself from this type of energy, this type of connections. Um, feel like you're breaking the chains here. Like you're breaking free. Now, this could also just be, um, you know, breaking free of uh, perverb. I'm hearing pervervious ways. What the fuck is that? Um, <laughs> I just feel like you guys are letting go of like toxic energy. And if this is not you releasing yourself of this type of energy, I just feel like you're releasing yourself of this type of connection. Um, in a sense of doing this, this is like you feeling uh, putting yourself yourself first. I was going to say self-worth, but also, yes, truly knowing your self-worth, knowing what you deserve and, you know, taking a stand for something. Um, and I feel like that is yourself. And I feel like you guys are just tired of, um, you know, feeling less than I want to say here. And, and you guys are just take, taking a fucking stand. Uh, two of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, for sure. I feel like you already know, you know, the direction that you want to go in. And you guys are definitely moving in that direction here with the Six of Swords. This show duck could be dealing with uh, Capricorn uh, air energy here a little bit with the Six of Swords. Got the Earth energy again with the Queen of Pentacles. It came out a few times here in the pre-shuffle energy. That's quite a bit here. All right, why is the World card and Devil here for Air? Uh, shit, I'm going to say Aries. So you guys could, could be dealing with the Aries for sure. Um... Why is the world and the devil card here for Scorpios, the moon rising and Venus? Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's that offer right there, guys. Uh, so the first card that's out is the strength card, Leo energy here. And I told you guys I felt this energy is coming out over here, but I felt it within the reading. Um, Leo energy is also in the world card here as well. So you guys could be dealing with the Leo, could be dealing with the Capricorn. Aries, we have the Nine of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy there, wish fulfillment here, feeling like you have the strength to move forward out of this, out of this connection. You have the strength to close out this connection. You have the strength to release yourself of toxic ways and bondages, bondage I'm hearing. So you guys could have felt like you were bound to someone or just felt like you were had, had no way out. You had no option. But you guys are being presented here with the opportunity to exit here with this nine of cups. And it's going to make you feel like a wish fulfilled here. You're going to feel overwhelming. You're going to feel enlightened. You're going to feel just powerful. I mean, you know, I can kind of relate to this energy here because, um, you know, earlier today, I, you know, I was fortunate enough to go down and, you know, see the uh uh you know those are the, the body guys don't know because i don't share this information a lot you know i don't share pretty much anything um personal on my channel 
And, you know, I need to do that a little bit more because it could definitely help someone out, though, out there. So um, I'm actually um, transitioning. You know, I had a definite rebirth experience here um, where I'm going through a divorce and the divorce is in the process of being finalized. Um, I was able to go down and um, uh, essentially, uh, you know, look at the paperwork and approve everything. And technically now everything is done and submitted. I'm just waiting for the judge to sign off and divorce is final. And this is something that I've been praying for to conclude here uh by christmas time and that just recently passed but ultimately you know the gift came a little late because i just you know was ultimately able to quote unquote receive that blessing um which is definitely a wish fulfillment for me um because it's allowing me to cl fully close out a karmic toxic cycle that i m i myself experienced here um which i'm truly truly grateful for because it taught me a lot you guys um i don't regret anything about it um, you know, the, the, the journey for, for itself at the time, guys, I didn't understand it and it made absolutely no sense. Um, the things that I was, you know, experiencing, but now looking back at it from things that took place three years ago, four years ago, it's like, wow, I'm truly grateful. And I understand why those things had to take place in my, uh, in, in my life on my journey, because that's only, you know, empowering me to be able to have the strength and the endurance to push forward, close out energies that I, I know that are unhealthy for me. And yes, I was dealing with the Capricorn. Um, so I am not a Scorpio though, but nevertheless, I can definitely relate to this energy. So just to share a message with you guys. So if you guys have gone through something like that or something similar, um, just know that the divine makes no mistakes. These things and, and events transpire in our journeys because they are meant for us to experience in our journey because there's a greater purpose for us on our journey from that experience. Okay, so we have to look at it from a greater perspective. Okay, we have the seven of swords. I feel like this is you guys just looking back at what you escaped from. You escaped this energy here, the seven of swords energy, whatever you were whatever you were bound to and tied to was affiliated with this type of energy, the seven of swords could have been lying, cheating, stealing um, manipulative energy here. And, and that's exactly what I experienced guys. Um, and, and I'm not fully innocent because I was definitely a low vibrational person. Um, at the time, it, it, you know, I'm not going to, you know, specify the level of low vibration and, and what's uh, greater than or less than the thing is that I know that, what I went through is things that, that the divine wanted me to experience again, because those events and experiences has transpired me to, um, you know, have a death to a rebirth experience. And now I have come out of that energy in the queen of wands energy in the queen of pentacles energy. And now I'm doing something that wholeheartedly fulfills me. And it just brings me so much joy and so much peace. And I feel at sense of at calmness, a sense of freedomness. Um, from the bounds of being, uh, you know, feeling like, you know, suffering from the toxication, uh, you know, which was the, the low vibrational energy. All right. So I just want to break that down um, because it definitely could have had you guys in the non source energy. Could have had you guys at one point feeling uh, like this energy here, confused, not understanding, you know, why you're experiencing these type of energies here. And just keep in mind, guys, that it wasn't you that was actually possibly experiencing this. Now, this could have been this toxic energy that you guys were bound to that was actually projecting their thoughts onto you and making you feel like this when really it was their energy here that was the Seven of Swords, the Devil, and the Nine of Swords energy. This was them secretively having these sleepless, restless nights because of the sneakative, the sneakative, yep, because of the sneakative shit that they were doing. Exactly. Exactly. Fuck it. It's not a word we're going to roll with it. Just, just whatever never mind so in a sense here that allowed you guys to gain a sense of balance with the temperance here you guys are learning how to embrace this balancing energy here i feel like you guys are getting grounded here with the queen of pentacle energy that came out and i feel like you guys are taking again a stand for yourself uh this is representing archangel michael and this is also sagittarius energy here as well so you could have a sagittarius coming in for you guys that's going to um signify that 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 harmonious that harmonious uh, energy here. And it's going to be a passionate new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. Fire energy again showing up here. 
Um, and this is going to be the old energy here, guys. It's going to be definitely keeping an eye out on you guys, stalking you, watching you guys move forward and progress. And they're ultimately going to be trying to figure out, like, why none of their tactics have worked. Why are you so happy? Why are you over here standing strong, standing in your power? Again, with the Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, I mean, sorry, with the Queen of Wands energy. And again, the Ace of Pentacles here. So I feel like the Divine is going to definitely uh, fulfill you guys with infinite abundance here now you could take that how you apply it because abundance can definitely show up in many forms in many ways and underneath of that we have the king of wands so that is a divine counterpart there king and queen of wands beautiful scorps all right what else why do these scorpios need to ask for help from others Two of Pentacles, because you guys are going to be juggling here. Yeah, and it could be more than one energy that's going to come in for you guys. Which is why you may need to ask for help for others. And also, you could be trying to ask for help from others, trying to decipher through this, um, trying to juggle through this, uh, this intoxicating energy here. Trying to release it, trying to, you know, I feel like you guys are just treading on water here. Some of you guys, some of you guys are still in this energy. Some of you guys are out of this energy, uh, depending on, you know, time. You know, time is not really real, but uh, we got the nine of wands. Yep. Feeling like you fought enough. You fought your last fight here and you guys are just looking for, um, to be set free. You guys are just looking here for your, you got that fucking map out here. Like where can I create an exit strategy here with the star card? You're wishing and you're hoping or like I said, for that ending, or you guys are wishing or hoping for that news to come through. Like I've been wishing and hoping that it came through for me for Christmas, and that's all I wanted for Christmas. Um, but essentially, it came just a little after, and I'm so grateful for that. It's coming up, and it, it came to me, you know, just as we are getting ready to approach the new year. So that was just spirit, you know, confirming to me that, you know, my prayers have been answered and although it didn't seem like nothing was taking place and look there's that king of wands again at the bottom of the deck although it seemed and felt like nothing was actually taking place i knew things were taking place i just didn't know the details right and it's kind of like when you guys are manifesting um if you guys do manifest if you guys don't i think i'm gonna do a video on that here um soon i'm not sure when but i think i want to um to help you know put the message out there so, you know, when you guys manifesting, you just got to know that, you know, it's already done. It's like when you place an order on Amazon or when you order off of, uh, I don't know, fucking Walmart, wherever you guys shop online at an order from, when you buy it, you don't worry about if the product is not going to be in stock, um, what, when it's going to arrive to you at your home, uh, what, what warehouse facility is going to be packaging it, where it's actually being shipped from, and two, you know, to be transferred. Those shit, th things like that. You guys don't worry about that when you when you purchase something online. You just know that you you bought it, it's on the way, and it's done. So it's the same thing when you do when you manifest. And when you manifest, you just you know you 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 do that and just know that it's already done. Just like when you place an order online, just know that it's already done. Um, and I feel like that's what you guys did ultimately, and that's that wish has come true. This is the a double wish here with the star card and the nine of cups. And I feel like you guys could have been like too like stressed out about like oh my god when is it happening when is it happening like you can't rush divine timing here you just simply can't rush it the universe moves at a pace of your vibration as well so keep that in mind as well so if you guys are trying to experience a more high vibrational experience but yet you guys are still kind of in that you know that low vibrational energy where you're like you know again that's what i say with the cactus here you gotta watch those thoughts because again when you you know say it's how you it's like you're contradicting yourself so you is this is you just gotta be careful so just watch your thoughts guys and remember stay positive keep your energy risen keep your vibration up um do things that's going to make you still feel a sense of freedom of, of a sense of um happiness things that you did as a child or whatever the case may be if it was paintballing shit go get your friends together or whatever then go paintball and maybe put the idea out there to people at your job like hey let's let's do a paintballing or we got the the axe throwing things that's going on in you like it's all types of things that you know you guys could do uh we have the higher fit here that's coming in here um as well so this you know could have been definitely something dealing with a marriage just something that represents like i said um some type of contract here. 
Um, but like I said, you definitely could have been experiencing, um, this could be something that you were definitely uh, in, a, in a long connection with here. Um, and, and next we have the <laughs> beautiful energy here. Scorps, we have the Page of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Ace of Swords here. So this is you guys speaking out truthfully here about, you know, the circumstances here or about, you know, maybe with this offer coming in. Like, again, we saw the Six of Pentacles. We saw the Six of Cups. So you could have someone from the past coming in here. We do have a retrograde in Venus, which is typically a strong sense of energy. Well, it could bring back past energy here. Um... It's not out here on the physical table, but again, we did see it in the pre-shuffle energy. So that's possible here, strongly possible here. But if it's not that, then this is just saying that the divine is coming in and granting you a new wish here. This is now three aces is going to be on the board for you guys with the ace of swords, the ace of pentacles, and the ace of wands. And now with the wheel of fortune here. Um, and this is going to be a small offer that's going to be communicated to you guys here. Uh, I feel like someone's going to express their feelings about you. Or if this is not them, this is you, Scorpio. You guys are going to be speaking out truthfully here. Could be to the past connection as well. But again, I feel like there's going to be a new connection here. This could be someone that's definitely younger than you. Possibly because we have the King of Wands here as well. So they could be coming in as a page, you know, just to see, I guess, where things are at is what I want to say. Um, but again, the King of Wands is showing up again at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. But, uh, let's see. That's beautiful there. What's the gathering around the power of community and honored cactus for Scorpio? Next 48. Okay, just turn sideways. Oh, two of swords. Okay. Last two of swords here. Why are you guys being indecisive here? Could be because the past energy come back. Yeah, it might be wanting to reconcile here. Could have you guys in your head. Or this could be you guys reaching out to your past wanting to reconcile. Oh, uh, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles just flew out in the reverse, which landed over here on the Hierophant. And the Ace of Swords. Oh, and the King of Pentacles. So, oh, okay. So, definitely could have been a, um, uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn for sure. Could be possible here. Um, I'm hearing Pisces too for some reason. I'm hearing a Pisces. Uh, well, I mean, we do have a little bit of cup energy here with the Nine of Cups, but that's it. Um, and we have the three of cups here with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. Um, I feel like one person might want a rec reconciliation and the other person does not. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse here. Um, maybe feeling like the person is, uh, there's no sense of stability with the person here with the two of Pentacles and the two of swords here I'm feeling like. Um, also, I'm getting like a sense of maybe someone might be feeling like the other person is not um, on their maturity level that they would like them to be on is what I'm hearing too. Um, could have definitely been someone that you were married to here with the King and Queen of Pentacles just popping, popping up together. Um, for sure. Uh, so I'm getting that there, that it could be, you know, one person speaking their truth about wanting to reconcile. Yeah. You know, someone does an eight of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy there. So, you know, It's hard to say, like, if there's no indicators there that, you know, the other party wants that. Yeah, look, four cups coming out here and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, someone is going to just be, you know, they're, they're going to really say, like, speak their real feelings here. And I feel like there is a sense of love there for the connection if you were married to someone in the past. But I feel like you just don't see it i feel like you just feel like this person had you in the uh the nine of swords devil energy here um because of the seven of swords energy that could have been taking place could have been taking place between the both of you guys which could have been mind games going on between the both of you guys right someone trying to make someone else jealous here um which is very low vib low vibrational energy here that's very petty to, uh very petty to, very petty petty energy um 
And, but, okay, it could have been repetitive here with the world cycle. And I was feel like I was about to say repetitive energy here. So that could be the, the sense the sense of the things too. And someone else could feel like they're much more happier without the other person in their energy in that mannerism here. Um, Because someone wants to just be a, a nine of wands. You know, someone wants, just wants to sleep around and be around with whoever they want to be around with. And that's why uh, they don't want to, they don't want, you know, they don't want to reconcile because they know that they want to, um, you know, just do what they want to do. All right. And, and and that's fine. You know, everyone's entitled to, you know, to be and live the type of life that they want to live in. Um, Just accept it for what it is and just move forward. Scorps, like... There's nothing to be, you know, I, I don't really want to say bitter about, but it's like I'm getting bitter energy here. Look at this four cups, like perk the fuck up. Like there's plenty of fish out here in the fucking sea. Like, do you see how big the sea is behind her? Like, just turn around, honey, and throw your line out there in the water. You're bound to catch something. And it could be a big fish, could be a little fish, it could be seaweed, but you know. I feel like there's definitely going to be something better there. For sure. But I feel like you guys kind of know that already. I feel like we're going, like, the story's going back and forth here with the cards coming out the way that they're coming out. All right, what's clearing for Scorps? What's clearing for Scorps? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, next 48. All right, clearing. So we have the... Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Ah, going to be feeling celebrated here. We have judgment that's coming down over the Four of Wands here. And I feel like this is the energy that you guys need to clear out of. Because, um, again, clearly, this Queen of Pentacles is, you know, she ain't the queen. She, she the, um, ooh. <laughs> it's like... It's like when someone wants to portray being a princess, but they're they're not the princess. I, I'm trying to think of a really nice way to say this here. Give me a second, and I'm thirsty as fuck. Um, but whatever whatever happened here, because we don't have a lot of bad cards out here. We only have the devil, the nine of swords, the seven of swords, um, and you know we have the. That's pretty much all of, like the real bad cards that, that's out here on the table. But the Queen of Pentacles being in reverse could, you know, would would you know just say that that person is just, um, you know, she there he or she is just not the empress or the emperor that you need them to be, and they're just not the person that's good for you in, in your life here, and and that's okay because everybody's not mature enough. Everybody cannot handle. Um, you know, certain circumstances and, and, you know, sometimes people fake and think that they want something until they really have it and know that that that's just not for them. And that's absolutely okay too. Um, but I feel like it is a way about handling things and taking care of things. And I feel like, um, for a lot of you guys, this, that definitely wasn't handled in the mannerism that you guys had expected it to with the seven of swords and the devil coming out here. Um, and you know, that's okay. That is absolutely okay. But, yeah, this is what you guys need to clear out here, this connection here. And once you guys do that, you're going to have this Six of Wands energy. You're going to be victorious. You're going to be celebrated here. You guys could be celebrated once you focus on yourselves. You guys are very creative, um, very talented here. <clears throat> and I feel like once you guys put that energy into yourselves here, um, you know, you will have the experience of that wish fulfillment, that double wish fulfillment here. Yeah, Two of Cups. Ooh. And, and also, the judgment could be this new connection coming in here for you guys. Mm-hmm. Yep. I see a new connection here. Because, guys, remember, when one thing closes out, that makes and, and creates room for new opportunities to, to come into your life. If you have a lot of things that are just, see? <laughs> King of Swords, wow. And, or this could be the judgment that's coming down over the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Now, this could have been two people that just argued a lot, a lot of disagreements, um, you know, very harsh words here, very harsh communication. Just 
Yeah, could have had you in the hangman energy here, Pisces energy there again. Uh, yep, there's that Ace of Cups. Whoa. And if it wasn't that, then again, this is just a new beautiful connection that's coming in here with the Ace of Cups. Uh, there's the Emperor. You know what I'm I knew the Emperor was going to show up here. Just try and get these cards here. Um, we have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles here. So, again, feeling like this is just a burden that you guys are releasing here. You guys could have been staying connected with someone because of finances here as well. Um, and I feel like you guys are just at the point where, like, you know, fuck the money. Like, I'll just go get two more jobs if I had to do that for a short period of time until I finish my degree. Um, and here's the Ace of Cups. And I feel like this is you guys just pouring your love into yourself over top of the Eight of Cups, going to find your 10th cup, right? The Ace of Cups to the Nine of Cups is 10 cups. Um, a connection that you can work on and build in or just, you know, energy that you don't have to be a part of with people building with multiple people besides you. Take that how it resonates. Uh, anything else for clearing here? But I feel like this is definitely what you guys are clearing out here. This King of Swords, King of um, Queen of Swords energy here with this connection that you guys were affiliated with. Anything else for clearing here? I hear, I'm here to rebuild. So it's like when you guys, um, the tower card is not here, but I feel like once you guys.